guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. A great big shout out to my channel members for supporting my channel. Thank you. All right, so in this next installment of my coloring book collection and completed pages, we're going to be going over my four Zan von Zed coloring books. Uh, I believe uh, this artist also has a presence on Etsy. I will link uh, the books below as well as their Etsy shop. I know my uh, friend Deb uh, prefers to do hers on printed out copies uh, because the paper can be better but I just prefer the book style. So we're going to go in order from books one through four and let's get started. They're all called Ladies of Leisure. So this is Ladies of Leisure one. This is one of the first ones I picked up. Um, the first go around July 2021 I had picked up this one and another and then in January 2022 I picked up the other two. Now the way that I'm doing this and we'll end our video with this is I'm marking all of the pages that I've completed up and through the end of 2022 and then I'm also marking uh, the page or pages that I've completed in 2023 and when we end the video with my coloring book journal you'll You'll see why I'm doing it that way. Now Zan von Zed is one of my favorite artists. If uh, they ever put out any more coloring books, I certainly would purchase them. Uh, this one was done recently, uh, February of 2023. I knew what I wanted to do with her and the background and then the rest of this just kind of happened. Um, but like Carla Magana, um, I find that they're very distinct looking. They're not always super cutesy like Hannah Lynn or some of my other portrait uh, books. But I also feel like I can just play around with color and theme and whatnot. So as I do, I don't always do a background. Uh, I don't always do text, but when I do, it, it either fits to the page or just something snarky. And this one says, I think my guardian angel drinks. And that's more along the lines of how this background evolved um, and less than <laughs> what's actually going on with the picture. This one kind of alludes to the next book, which is just line art. Of the two styles, I do prefer the grayscale over the line art, but I also did this of one of Corey's challenges. It was an alphabet challenge for E last no, 2021, where um, at the time I was choosing three alcohol markers that started with the letter of the month and then choosing a page not necessarily in here, but a lot of them in here, and seeing what I can get with just the three alcohol markers. And I think with the various tones, it actually really worked out. This one I did with my Derwent pastel paint pans and just a little bit of alcohol marker as you can see there and I actually like when uh, there's a little bit of crinkling to the page it's Amazon paper so it's not made for water but I don't mind that it crinkles and since it's single-sided it doesn't really matter to me I thought it was a really sweet picture and I was uh, quite impressed on how vibrant the pastels in that paint pan uh, set can be because I don't actually gravitate towards pastels a lot so it was really interesting to work with them. This is one of my favorites that I have done although for the majority of them I really really like them. Uh, this was done for an Olga Rani prompt of weapon and I like the way that the sheer fabric looks and pink and green is some of my favorite go-to co color combinations. It's my favorite color combination so uh, when I don't know what to do I'll just do pink and green and with a background like this uh, I know sometimes people can focus on each individual piece and sometimes uh, they'll focus like I do and just kind of wash it out so that the person in the, the foreground actually becomes the the focus of it. If I'm stumbling or fumbling over my words, I'm actually not feeling that great, um, but I did want to film this video. This one was a buddy color with my friend Deb. I think the vast majority of these are a buddy color with my friend Deb, and I loved her rendition. I believe I was 
inspired for this color palette based on some of her gallery wall pictures, purple and yellow being at the time uh, something I'd seen prevalent on her her gallery wall on Instagram and I'll link her Instagram account below. So this was definitely inspired for her. And I love how strong uh, Zan von Zed's girls are. They just they, they hit a little different from Hannah Lynn or Kristen Caron or, or any of those. Uh, I really love the artwork. And the text on here says, a strong woman looks a challenge in the eye and gives it a wink. And that's a quote by Gina Carey. This one was a random color generator picture. So back in 2022 sometime, I didn't write it down, uh, Lily from Art Journey had done a random color generator video. And then Rach of Pricey Colors had tagged me to do it. And so I randomly chose five different alcohol markers with a secret weapon of Winkastella. And I remember this video because I did film this where I was just making all kinds of distressed noises <laughs> because I did not know how it was going to come out. But I actually think it works really well. And I had even done an additional challenge on top of that. So before I even picked the color, I had marked what each one would be. So the first marker I chose was going to be for skin and then the second one was going to be for hair. And then it was truly was random because based on the color tones, I could have made her skin pink and then done some shading. But because the darkest color that I chose was actually her skin, it actually works out that this pink was chosen because then it makes it really light. <laughs> The contrast is really interesting to me, but yeah, at the time I was just, I was quite distressed. This is another one of those three marker challenges, and that's just the way I had approached that. Uh, this was done again with three alcohol markers, and the text on here says, It was funny, she thought, but her smile turned wistful because she had no one to tell. And that's a quote by Lainey Taylor. And then the final picture I completed is this one right here. Again, another three marker challenge. And this was also for Sarah's Coloropoly, a November prompt back in 2021 for hair and finding color prompt for Olga of long hair. Any of the channels that I mentioned, I'll go ahead and link in the description box below. Again, with three different markers, you can get a variety of different tones. They don't, may not necessarily work out the best, but again, when you're working with a super limited palette, and you are also limiting yourself by way of what colors you can choose because i don't know that i'd necessarily choose these colors for this page but when you are forcing yourself to and for me that was kind of the part of the fun then you do really have to be creative on what you focus on what you use your darks on what you use your lights on and this color here is a combination of the green and the pink so you can still get additional tones even if you only have just the three markers and those are all my completed pages out of this Ladies of Leisure by Zan Von Zed. Oh, and I didn't mention it, but I did have some of this black contact paper uh, that I'm using on my desk. I'll see how it goes in a few videos, how I like it as a background um, on one hand. Uh, it might be really distracting on the other hand because most of my coloring books and most of my things that I work on are white, um, it might actually make it pop more, but we'll see when I'm editing because when I'm actually looking through on the video to make sure everything's lined up, uh, I can't really tell how, how bad that is. I do have all my lights on, but I know with the glossy covers, the glare is insane. So this is Ladies of Leisure 2. This is the line art version. And of the two versions, this is my least favorite. And you can tell because this has the least amount of completed pages in it. Only two were done up and through 2022. And we've completed, and by we, I mean Deb and I, we've completed a couple in here with one more to go. So this one I did in January 2022. I believe this was the very first picture I completed out of here. And that was because it was for an Olga Rani prompt of fish. 
right there. And this says, she is a mermaid, but approach her with caution. Her mind swims at a depth most would drown in. And that's a quote by J. Iron Ward. This one was a finding, oh no. This was a buddy collar with my friend Deb. And this was, oh yeah, 2023. It was marked up there. And this one wasn't a limited color palette, but I kind of colored her and then I wanted it to kind of look spooky, but not really. And so the colors are a bit weird, but I like them. And I think she's really pretty. And her text says, I meant to behave, but there were too many other options. Another page we completed uh, out of this one. This I did a video of and showed you how I use some stamping and some stickers. And I also used just a very limited palette uh, for no other reason than I wanted to. And it was based off the colors in the stickers. This is also a buddy color with my friend Deb in April, 2023. And then this one is what we're doing for May, 2023. It is currently the 23rd. I did take a sick day. I feel like I'm coming down with a cold Old and I just wanted to rest, do this video, and then just rest again. But I also know what kind of colors I want to use with this one. And those are my completed pages out of this Zen Von Zed's Line Art Ladies of Leisure number two. I think this might be my favorite, although honestly, one, three, and four, it's just beautiful images. But this is Ladies of Leisure three, Zan Von Zed. Loved how I did the background on this. It looks kind of um, magical and, and mystical. Again, another, another body color with my friend Deb. She wore compliments like diamonds and it was simple and straightforward. And I used my ink tense paint pans. I do tend to gravitate towards those a lot. And just a little bit of alcohol marker. This one, I actually wanted the background darker, but that's as dark as I could get it. And this also was done with my Inktense paint pans. I knew I wanted her background to be this kind of lime green. And then everything else I kind of wanted dark. Again, this could have been darker for me, but I didn't want to do alcohol marker or pencil on top. Uh, this predominantly, at least for the background, is paint with just a little bit of alcohol marker in here. But yeah, I, I love how they kind of give almost a spooky vibe. This one was done uh, for Coloropoly back in April 2022. Yeah, right there. Uh, because one of my prompts was monochrome. This was also a one color challenge. All of the tones here are green. This kind of looks a little blue, but it's one of those dual hybrid metallic pens that um, has blue and green in it. And I thought that still count. But I love the way she looks. I love how stern she is. And <laughs> she says, everyone was thinking it, I just said it. This one, when I saw her, I knew I wanted her hair to be white, which it was on the page, because there's very little grayscale, if any, in her hair versus the rest of her. So I knew if I wanted that to pop as a white hair with just a little bit of gray in it, then I had to make sure that the rest of the colors were either dark or vibrant. And I saw this as flames. Originally, I only had just the gray around her, but I didn't like how that looked on the page. So I added some black acrylic paint um, here and then a ton of Wink of Stella or Spectrum Sparkle in here. And I think she looks really stunning. The text on here says, some women fear the fire, some women simply become it. And that is a quote by Gaurav Joshi. And again, a buddy color with my friend Deb. This was another buddy color with my friend Deb. You can see a theme here. And uh, I did her skin first, and I thought originally I was going to do her hair as pink, but then I thought, well, maybe the yellow would look really interesting against the darker tone of skin. Uh, green eyes seems to be one of my default colors 
four eyes. And then this background is done with some paint pens, uh, whether it's the ink tents or the pastels, I'm not 100% sure. And I love the border. It looks like washi, but it's actually the border that was on the page. And it's just done with an alcohol marker. This background kind of messed up on me, but then I also put some high-chromatic shimmer over it that kind of dulled some of the edges, and I think it looks better. I think the pink really highlights her skin and her hair, and I think she looks really pretty. Yeah, it's just the background kind of got away from me, and I just leaned into that. And her text says, a dream itself is but a shadow, and that's text from William Shakespeare. This one is probably one of my favorites. It's very limited because I really wanted to focus on the spooky aspect. It was an Olga Rani finding color of spider. And uh, her skin is actually with a very light gray tone. And I really wanted to focus on her eyes and her lips just because she, to me, is kind of like a zombie girl. And I, I thought that was the most appropriate. So it wasn't a very difficult color certainly was a quick one but I think very effective beautiful to me and this was the very first picture I actually completed out of this page. I could not be happier with her. I loved how the water was. I did all of the coloring. This is some white gel pen and then some Wink of Stella to look like she's actually in water. Uh, the fish here, I think I should have done in a different color. But otherwise, I think it's just a really stunning page. Again, really strong, really, really vibrant. I love how the, the eyes are very almost glaring, and, and I really appreciate that about Zen One Zed's art. And that's my final completed page of this, Ladies of Leisure number three. And the final book is Ladies of Leisure number four. This is the other one I had bought originally back in July 2021. With this one, I had a concept that I wanted her to be a ghost, and there's something about it that I don't know works. I did outlining in white gel pen and some moonlight gel pen to get rid of the dark lines and I, I just don't know if the the, the look of it is ghostly because I had tried that in another book the rabbit girl book and I thought that was way more effective. I don't know exactly what it is maybe it should have all been outlined in white versus the white and the yellow. I'm not I'm not 100% sure but there's just something about this that didn't get quite the effect although overall I, I like it. This one another one of those three color challenges again uh with the colors, you would think it would lean more Christmassy, but because she looks kind of like a zombie, <laughs> I don't get Christmas vibes at all, even though the red and green are very prevalent on the page. And the text here says, she is a queen, her soul is royalty. And that's a quote by Adrian Michael. Another one of my favorites, she was just suspended in air, so I added some green clouds just to play up the green aspects on here. I actually messed up her eyes, and so I just did a whole black eye um, on there. This was a buddy color with my friend Deb. And again, a little bit of pink, a little bit of green, but I think mostly you focus on just the body and that she's floating here. And her text says, and the stars blinked as they watched her carefully, jealous of the way she shone. And that's by Atticus. This was the very first page I completed in here. This was another one of those three color challenges for Corey's uh, alphabet challenge. And I could not love this page more. I love how intense she is. I love the colors on here. At the time, I wasn't actually doing the swatches. That came a little bit later. But for just having three alcohol markers on here, I think she looks absolutely stunning. I don't know that if I were to do this page again, if I bought this book again, if I would want to do it with anything more than three colors, just because I, I love the look of it. She's just, she's so fabulous to me. Still, one of my top three of all of the Zan Von Zed pictures that I've completed. This one here was done around Christmas time, 2021. And I know that because of the color combo of red and green, I don't tend to lean towards a lot of Christmas pages, but during the month of December, I will do lots of reds and greens in my 
books. Uh, with her eyes, I did dual hybrid metallic, and I think that was a bit of a mistake um, because they kind of are dull, even though they are shiny, which is a strange effect. Uh, but it's not something I usually do. I don't know why I didn't use my glossy accents. I don't mind it in the lips so much, but for her eyes, yeah, I think that effect is kind of lost. But I do like her hair, and I like the picture overall. This is one of the pages that if it weren't for Deb, yeah, I had to look, um, I probably wouldn't have done it because I don't actually like coloring animals, but we chose this one and I'm happy that we did. Uh, so little unicorn here, beach scene, again, did a lot of paint on here just to take up some of the space. Her text says, well, now that we have seen each other, said the unicorn, if you believe in me, I'll believe in you. And that's a quote from Lewis Carroll. And I just, I thought that fit and was appropriate. This was done in 2023. So when I do my final count, uh, you'll see that some of my, if you're counting the number of pages, they don't actually score up because I'm not counting anything in 2023. This one was another buddy color with my friend Deb. And I loved her rendition. I just kind of worked on her first and then they did the background because I, I certainly thought it needed it. and then I added the white gel and a little cloud action here and I think it's really cute and her text says a ship is always safe at the shore but it's not what it was made for and I do like putting either wink of Stella clear uh, or spectrum sparkle clear on clothes just because I love the effect of it because then when you put it up against something that doesn't have it uh, it definitely gives you a different tone this was done around Christmas time again because of the colorway so December 2021 I don't see that this was a buddy color but this was for finding color of mushroom, just a little bit around her. And this says that was her magic. She could still see the sunset, even on those darkest days. And again, another quote by Atticus. And if you can tell, sometimes I'll do the full background, sometimes I won't. I find that doing text on the page really kind of brings the person to life, but also takes away some of that stark whiteness. Although this, even if it didn't have the text, I think would work because it's centered and it's big enough on the page and she's such a presence on the page that it still works. <laughs> no, it's a little unfortunate that this is the last page that I can that I'm gonna show you just because this was another three marker challenge. So there's only three colors in this page and I was actually quite happy with her until the shadow, cause it was actually a grayscale shadow here. So I thought, okay, well I'll color it just because that'll make sense. And uh, I didn't have many options. I had the dark kind of brownie red, the red, and then this kind of tan color. And so I thought, okay, well I'll put the tan color. Well, it looks like she had an accident and so this is not her looking all coy in the windowsill it's like nothing to see here people nothing to see don't even look you know beneath me there's nothing it was there when I got here <laughs> so it's a funny story but it's also kind of weird <laughs> I should have just left the grayscale I mean hindsight being what it is but as soon as I put it down I'm like that that looks like something oh okay and it's forever going to be the very last page. Oh no, so I'll need to color this one so the next time I do a flip through, <laughs> I'll have something else to finish with. And some of the books have these kind of ancillary pages. Let me tell you right now, I'm probably never gonna do any of these. But that's the final page out of Ladies of Leisure 4. Let me get my coloring book journal and I'll be right back. So this is my Maisie Lane Co. A5 coloring book journal. I've already got the page marked. And so this will be my Saturday video, so the 27th. I'll go ahead and write that in here. The last three that I'm gonna finish with is my Ikuko, and that'll probably be done in the next couple of weeks because I actually only have two more pages to finish one of my Ikuko. And so that video will be a actually completed book and then completed pages because in the other two, one I've never even touched, and then the other one, 
has very few pages. So Ladies of Leisure number one, I did seven pages up and through 2022. Ladies of Leisure two, I did two. Uh, by the end of this month, it'll be up to four. Uh, ladies of Leisure number three, I did eight. And Ladies of Leisure number four, I did eight. So even though there aren't many pages in each of those books, uh, if you do a ratio, I'm nearly done, probably at least 50% done with most of them. That Ladies of Leisure 2, the line art one, that one is going to take some time because of all of them, it is my least favorite. So again, the next one you'll see is my Ikuko books. And then I'll start setting up uh, for the next part of my inventory. We still are actually on bookshelf number three, where I'm going to get into some of my 10 by 10 books. And I don't think I've done Coco Wayo. Oh no, I have. So yeah, I'll need to do an inventory of what's still left on bookshelf number three before we go on to bookshelf number four. All right, guys, I'd love to know if you had a favorite page of all of the ones that I showed you in this video. Definitely know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you find the black distracting. It's just a contact paper that's on this desk pad that I have. I might just need to get a new desk pad uh, just because the white one uh, got kind of dirty really quickly. And uh, although I liked that it didn't have lines like my original contact paper did, it also just, I don't know, just seemed a little off to me. But I'd love to know your thoughts. I definitely will try it out and I'll see what it looks like in editing. And I can always guess get another desk pad. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for now. And as always... Aloha.